All right, here we are at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. I brought Amy, but I lost Sophie. So I guess Amy's gonna have to ride Dr. Diabolical with me. Even though Sophie loves dive coasters. Oh well. So what do you think about that? Oh, Sophie is here. All right, so we're gonna have an awesome day. Um, we're gonna get some new credits. I'm gonna get a kitty coaster credit. Amy's gonna get a train credit. And we're of course are going to ride that brand new fancy looking dive coaster back there, Dr. Diabolical. And you'll be alerted to proceed to the pickup window. Mobile food ordering. Now you're on that. I'm so excited to finally meet you. Of course, I am Dr. Diabolical. The creator of the room, you must stand under the extractor. It's located above your head. You must leave at once. The extractor mechanism is now functioning. It appears to be broken. Look at this amazing Dr. Diabolical merch. This is an awesome gift shop. Alright, so we just got our first ride on Dr. Diabolical back row. Sophie, verdict? Uh, my favorite dive coaster. More than Griffin. Yeah. Does that mean it's your number three ghoster in the whole world? Yeah. I guess so. So I was afraid that this was going to be kind of like, um, kind of like an emperor, and because it's kind of a smaller dive coaster, but this is a lot different. This has a lot better elements. Um, the drop's awesome, 95 degrees straight down. You got the second drop over here. There it goes right there. You got the airtime hill, which is a, a little slow, but it's still pretty good. So yeah, I would say this is definitely a step up from Emperor. Uh, I would say not as good as Griffin, but uh, I would say maybe the uh, three or four in the park. We'll see how Superman's running. They moved the Iron Rattler flash pass line and I am confused. As you try to sit back face forward an inch, your 17 story drop on the Iron Rattler. You want to go on that? No. It's alright. Looks like a vomit machine. Iron Rattler, Sophia. That was your, your ninth RMC or something. So what did you think? Uh, definitely our top ten. We're just like blowing up Sophie's top ten today. Between Diabolical and Rattler, we've barely even scratched the surface. We haven't even done Wonder Woman yet, so we'll see how that ranks. So I think that Iron Rattler is running great. The even the the core I used to call it the Quarry Crawl. Even that has some forces today. I got a little bit of an ejector airtime before the cliff dive. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, all in all, so far everything's running great today. Sophie, number one, number two, number three? Uh, number ten. We'll work on our list later. You have to wait till next summer to find out where she ranks at. Look at that, the Scream Punk District. One of them where they got that from. All right, so, so we just got out of Roadrunner, which is arguably the second best mine train ever behind, behind Thunderation. What'd you think? Janky. It was janky. It was janky. That's what adds to the fun. And Sophie, no boomerang for you. It's closed today. Any comments on that? I don't know. Yeah, she's never ridden a boomerang before, but the boomerang should be getting some fancy new trains pretty soon. So that is going to make this pretty good. See, there's Amy in her baby form. And there's Amy, like how she's like on the inside. Some little nuggets they have for the 30th anniversary. 
you can see they have the old poltergeist sign kind of uh, a then and now situation. So it's good to see a park honor its history. So poltergeist was down for now. But now we're gonna take Sophie on her first RMC single rail, Wonder Woman. But she has the Batman hat, never mind. Uh, but anyway, we have to get her on the good one before we go to Magic Mountain and ride the bad one. Sophie got her first taste of some single rail action. Sophie? No. What? No. Mm. No. 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 Didn't like it? No. What was wrong with it? No. No! God, please, no! No! <laughs> what was wrong with it? So rough. So rough? All right. She's onto something. This was the most uh, bumpy, rattly ride I've ever gotten on a Raptor. So that's unfortunate, but on the bright side, it was crazy intense and full of ejector in the back row, so mm, trade off. Oh yeah, check it out. So the boardwalk just opened and we are gonna be one of the first riders on the park's best coaster that spins, Pandemonium. I like how it's like Pandemonium and oh, also like a killer clown carnival. Pandemonium never disappoints. Never. Sophie, Pandemonium, what did you think? Uh, like all the other spinning masters, but it actually spins. This one spins like crazy, especially when you get nobody across from you, which we had, and Sophie got two rides on it, and she, I can't believe she's still walking. She should be too dizzy to walk right now, but there she is. Now she really wants to ride the half pipe. The uh, disco coaster. I don't know, I don't count this as a coaster, but she still wants to ride it anyway, so let's do it. Call it a coaster my top of TV. This? Yeah, or like a half pipe. Okay, that's not the same thing as the one at Mall of America for some reason. I don't ask me to explain. There's no good way to explain it. What do you think, Sophie? Is this a roller coaster? Uh, no, it's not. So I've been here like seven times. I've never ridden Hurricane Force 5. I've ridden the one at Adventure Dome though. It's pretty similar. So Sophie, what did you think about it? Uh, it definitely beats Fury. Does it beat... Beats Fury? What are you talking about? Does it beat Wonder Woman? Heck yeah. <sighs> what am I doing? I'm not raising these girls right. <laughs> Sophie, this is not supposed to be hard. This is winter every time. Let's see, attempt number... 16. You're counting? This machine's gonna like give up on you before you give up on it. There you go. Okay, so I've never run this train before, but I had to wait for Sophie and Amy. Brand new train credit. First one since Dollywood. The Texas Railroad. We are glad that you are going. No, I got a bite on it. An actual railroad steam engine that was built in 1917. Where are you waving to? The flowers? my first time on the new and improved Poltergeist. Poltergeist has been broken all day, but apparently right now it's open. We're gonna take our chance to ride it right now. Come 
Cool. All right, for the first time, I was able to ride the new and improved Poltergeist with the awesome station, uh, Jeffrey Siebert, and his name's written all over that thing. Um, really cool uh, to see that whole thing redesigned, um, the whole queue line station. Sophie, what do you think of Poltergeist? Uh, it's a little rough, but I like it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's an old, it's like 25 year old uh, janky Premier Rides launch coaster, but what are you gonna do? I think it's still running pretty good. Some little backstage tour, and now we're back to riding. So next up, we are gonna hit up the best Flores coaster in Texas, Superman. Walk on Superman. So Superman's running really well this year, but it still has that rattle. A very slight rattle. Sophie is way too sensitive for roughness, so she's gonna skip this, skip this one this year. But maybe uh, at a later time, we'll uh, something look forward to for later. In the meantime, I'm gonna get her on Joker. All right, so the Joker's broken. Sophie broke it. Good job, Sophie. What? Uh, but we're gonna go on the swings. They're not 400 feet like at over Texas, but. I'm sure that Sophie will still be satisfied. Okay. Enjoy your ride on the side Bye bye. How's your day going? Eh, probably better than these guys right here. Sophie, are you ready to go into the fun house? Yeah. Doesn't look too fun, kind of looks terrifying to me. Sophie, are you rightfully terrified? No. That was not that was not scary at all. No. So you, you did Maybe not. A little bit. No. So you so you did not uh, make a mess in your pants like I did. No. Okay, good. That's for me to clean up. <laughs> Sophie, how was Joker? She says that all the time, but I think this time she means it because that thing's awesome. All right, every time I take Sophie to a park to ride a passage, I have to, have to get on the kitty coaster. Sophie, I'm doing this for me. I admit it. She already knew that. Night has fallen, and um, they're still stuck. So that's cool. Here, Sophie, you can't get there fast enough. Night rides on Diabolical. You gonna ride the front or the back, Sophie? Back. Back. Back's the best. Right, Doctor Diabolical night ride, super good, super smooth. Only problem is that they stapled me really bad. And those Vesta strains when they staple you. Man, they pinch your thighs really bad, and I was in some severe pain there. Yes. Sophie, is that as good as the first time? Uh, no, the first time was better. Waiting. First time was better? Okay. So, uh, maybe it's not her number three overall. We'll have to see. But we're going to try to get one more ride. We've got 10 minutes left for the park closes. One more ride to Iron Rattler. Sophie, so we're in line for Iron Rattler, but I want to know one thing. Where's the pre-show? Where's 
all the gimmicks and all the costume characters and everything. What happened? We just got a fireworks ride on Iron Rattler. We started going out front, we got on. That was a cool experience. So, Iron Rattler is insane at night. Uh, didn't get stapled, so that's a good thing. Look at that. That's loud. So, we're just going to enjoy the show as the park closes for the night. All right, so that is a wrap on Six Flags Fiesta Texas. That was Sophie's first time at the park. What did you think about this park? Uh, it's a good park. Was it better than Over Texas? Yeah. Better than SeaWorld? No. Better than, not better than SeaWorld? Ooh, okay. That's a hot take. So, yeah, I think this is definitely one of the best Six Flags parks. Um, it's definitely the best run Six Flags park. I, th I think it's, a, it's amazing what happens when you have a park president who knows what they're doing and really cares. And that's what they definitely have here. And um, you can see it with all the um, new additions, all the pre-shows they've added in to the Joker and Dr. Diabolical and Poltergeist and all that stuff. It's just stuff you don't see at other Six Flags parks. And it adds to the experience. And they really do try hard here, which is much appreciated because that's not the case with every park. So that's it. I'll, I'll hopefully I can come back here sometime soon because this is a great place. And uh, until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.